Hello, good morning. Good morning, everyone. I didn't bring my glasses up here. I'm not going to be able to read those comments. Hey, good morning, Debbie. Um, I'm going to go grab my glasses. Okay. You hold down. Uh -huh. You hold down the fort for a second. All right. Just kidding. It's hot. <laughs> uh, we're super excited to be here today to talk about everything quilting and cross stitching. Um, if you don't know who we are, we're Primrose Cottage Quilts and Stitches. Follow us on Instagram. We are almost to 10K on our Stitches Instagram, which is super exciting. And um, we also have a Facebook group if you haven't joined. It's Primrose Cottage Quilts and Stitches, where you can share all of your beautiful work with each other. Um, good morning. Um, we're in Utah. It's been in the hundreds. It's been very hot. So, very, very hot. <clears throat> but I'm excited to be here. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, we're <laughs> excited, Christy, Java Girl, our favorite new bestie. I feel like Lindsay and you have gotten close. We yeah. talk all the time. We talk on the phone every day. That's awesome. Marco Polo. Marco Polo is an app that you can video chat with your friends. I use it with all my friends. Good morning. Good morning. We have lots to share today, both cross stitch and quilting. Yep. Um, I just realized I forgot my flag. Was it downstairs? I can grab it. No, I think it's over here. Oh. We're organized, I promise, but kind of. <laughs> So we had a newsletter for cross stitching go out today. So we're going to start with talking about that. I'll pull that up. So Lindsay's flag on the fourth, her first release is four patterns. She's grabbing it. Do you need me to find it? I don't know. It's not that right there on top. Uh -uh. Maybe I thought that was it. I can grab it. Do you think okay. it's downstairs? Well, it might be. You can in there. Oh my gosh, I feel so embarrassed. Uh -huh. I was so concentrated on getting uh, something else ready that I totally forgot to grab my flag. Um, That's right. Oh, fabulous. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going to start off with um, something that I'm really excited about. <laughs> um, I found out, um, I don't know, a couple, like a month ago maybe less, um, that I was going to be a cover girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is a magazine for retailers um, that goes out to your local needle workshops, your favorite online shops. And here's the magazine. So this, they sent me a, a cute plaque to hang up. And then this is what it looks like when um, your shop gets it. So it is only for shops because it's it shows new patterns from designers, um, ways they can order. And yeah, we're so excited. I was literally like, when I opened the package of uh, the magazine, I was like jumping up and down. I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so on the front is my home of the free. And then... United We Stand, Land That I Love, and Firework Kisses. Yeah. Cover girl, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. really exciting. So I we got a big pack of the magazines mailed to I'm us. just going to hand them out to all my family members. <laughs> like, look, here I am. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so awesome. that was, like, really exciting. But um, we have other exciting things happening, um, things we just – can't quite talk about yet, but um, lots of things going on behind the scenes. Um, in today's newsletter, um, I've talked about it a couple times now. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I've talked about it a couple times. Um, my flag idea. Here is my flag. So I just couldn't get the idea out of my head, and I kept going back and forth, back and forth, like, do I pursue this idea? Do I have the time it needs to pursue? And in the end, 
I just couldn't stop thinking about it. And so I'm like, okay, I have to put it out there. And um, it's called Flags on the Fourth. And in the email, it has all the information. But what I'm going to do is this is the first flag that I did. And you can buy the pattern, which comes with this flag, plus three additional oh. flags. Hang on. Thanks. Thank you, Valeria, <laughs> for the super chat. We yes. really appreciate it. You, like, are so supportive of us. Everyone is that watches. It just, Thank like, you. totally. You guys, like, totally make it my day, it. week, month, yeah. year. <laughs> um, okay, so flags on the fourth. My vision that I had was I want you to make this a fun thing that's not like stressful. It you I want you to make it your own. So if you want to do bright colors, I want you to pick bright colors. And on the chart, I just listed red, white, and blue because I don't want um I want you to do what you love. So if this isn't your jam, the more muted tones, you like the bright, like my, I just got my nails yeah, done. Yeah, someone said they like your nails. Oh, thank you. I just <laughs> got them done. My nail lady's so good. Um, if you like the brighter tones, um, my vision for my flag bowl, so I'm doing 12 flags in 12 months, and I'm going to release different flag patterns throughout the year, but I'm also using other flags from other pattern designers um, because I love doing and working on other people's designs. I actually love it a lot. And I finished a couple that I'm going to show you, but um, so I really want you guys to, if you're going to join in, be sure to use the hashtag that I listed in the email or the PDF pattern when you download it. It's all in there. And share it because I want to see your flags. I want to see what you pick. And if you want to pick exactly what I did, that is awesome too because... Um, some say it's easier to not think sometimes. Yes. Sometimes you just love how it looks and you want to do exactly yeah. how I did it. And that is great. Um, I'll show so. mine. Which is funny. I did this flag before. I know. You did it. I know. And, well, she was like, I'm just going to do little things and so I did make the a flag here. This is America. all American. So I actually stitched this a while ago because I was like, oh, it'd be cute to have a mini flag. Like, so I agree with her, like pick flags from all, even the heart in here, like this tiny little heart right there would be cute into a button if you did a smaller count. Look, this is Country Mocha 25, and then I believe my start is also, for the whole thing, is up here, too, which is not really a start. <laughs> that is a start? <laughs> um, so mine, uh, I picked a 32-count light taupe. And my favorite. <laughs> my favorite right now is the light taupe. We just ordered a bunch more. You yeah, guys sold out of the 20. You guys love the light taupe, too. It's so neutral. It's so... Any of the taupes are beautiful. I think there's light taupe, 32, and taupe, which I was actually comparing them yesterday. And I did look at it because I was like, did I list that wrong? There are two 32 taupes. Wow, thank you, Michelle. Michelle! <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much. For the super chat, you guys, they're donating, and we really appreciate that. But anyway, the light taupe and the regular taupe almost look identical. Uh, I, I should have... show you. But I was like, why are these listed different? And I did confirm on the website we buy it from, they are two different cloths. Because for a minute, I thought I listed it wrong. Um, when I have looked at it, yes, they are very similar. Um, it's a very small difference. Yeah. But I do feel like the difference between the 32 and 28 is very noticeable. The 28 count, which is this one, is darker, Dark. which it's hard to see. I'm which I see actually think I've been stitching on the 32. I'll show you my project. But um I actually think it's harder to stitch on the 28. I have to really focus on that one. Um, <sighs> I don't know. I love both. I love stitching on both. Um, uh, someone asked, they may have misunderstood, but I can't download the flag. Okay, so it's actually a pattern in our Etsy shop. So it, the link that I put in the newsletter, yeah. just click on it. It takes you to the pattern. It shows the front, uh, the model, and then there's three additional flag patterns. And I'm not going to show them here because 
I want you guys to be surprised when you see them. And I haven't um, even seen them. I need to see. <laughs> I know. And I have um, several, I probably have at least 15 flags that are designed. Um, and, you know, there might be a freebie coming, you know, in the near future for this yeah. project too. So I honestly, I think since I was so compelled to share it, I just, I just had to, like, yeah. I was like, I cannot stop thinking about it. <laughs> and on Sunday, um, so my dad was in town and he brought, we're going to show what he brought, but on Sunday I came upstairs and I opened my flag file and I just couldn't stop. Like I kept designing and I wanted to keep designing and, and I was like, okay, I got to just make this come to life. So perfect weekend to do it. <laughs> yes. So there's a couple of things. Let's see. Um, I absolutely love your charts. Just finished the ABC alphabet and I was mm. thrilled. This is the way it turned out. Filled with the way it turned out. Sorry. Which that's, I stitched that sample and it is, I couldn't put it down. It's a great one to do. Um, you do, and then Michelle did say, you guys do so much for me. Thank you from Florida. We really appreciate yes, you. Thank you, Michelle. And, oh, Susan did get it. So she figured out the chart. Perfect. Yes. Wonderful. So I, like I said, make it your own. If you want to stitch a flag, I'm starting a new flag on the 4th of every month for the next 12 months. So I, by July 4th of next year, I'm going to have a dough bowl full of flags, different mm. sizes, shapes. And the color palette, um, I'm sticking to like the dusty faded look. Um, but I also love bright flags. So who knows? Maybe I'll have a bright bowl and, yeah. a, and a, a more muted bowl. So on to the next. Um, I'm going to show my, I mentioned this in the last video. Where's the board? Um, Katie's. The patterns are all right there. Oh, sorry, I mixed them up. So Katie released this pattern, Home Tweet Home. And as I was um, looking through my patterns, I was doing some organizing. I thought this would be adorable in 4th of July. I think any season you could really. You could do this for Even Halloween. Season. It'd be cute enough. I know. So <laughs> I worked on this over the week and I finished it. So this is my cute little version, 4th of July version of Katie's Home Tweet Home. So cute. And I absolutely love it. The only thing I didn't do yet, and I I still might do it, is there's a bird on this house right here. I haven't done that, and I haven't done the French knots for the bird eyes. Super cute. So this was so fun to stitch. It stitched up really quick. I just pulled um, colors that were were in my cart next to me. I didn't even like go upstairs and look for colors. <laughs> so, and one thing that I love, if you are like, um, a, oh, I want to stitch this and you just want to stitch it immediately. I, in my cart, I have a whole bag of different cloths and I have them in different, like I have some that are like this size and, and different colors. Like I'll even have like bigger ones and I keep them all in a bag in my cart. And then when I'm feeling the urge to be spontaneous and stitch something, I don't have to um, go find my cloth. I might have to go find floss, but I like to stitch in the season that we're in. Yeah. And so, and I can't, like I've tried to stitch like way in advance and it's not as enjoyable for me and so I'm still stuck on patriotic stitching yeah um so for instance I just have a ton of fourth of July floss in my cart not like a ton but like all the colors that I like to like I've been using yeah. so I literally just had to grab the pattern pull my cart uh, fabric bundle picked this piece and started stitching yeah Someone said they're all loving the home tweet home and the patriotic. Thank you. Um, someone said they like my necklaces. Thank you. Just kidding. Yeah, I, like I know this. this is a little cactus. I have an obsession with cap mm -hmm. cactuses, and my cousin made this for me. She's like a, a holistic type healer. It's Janae. Oh, she made she that made for it you? for me. 
a long time ago and I wear it all the time. It's my favorite. So thank you. Okay. So <laughs> if you want a quick project for the 4th of July, this is fun too. Um, Very cute. And then do you want to show sure. your whip? I have a and, few. Okay. Which honestly, I haven't stitched a whole lot just because I'm not a, what is it? Summer stitcher. This is the chart, which I think we're sold out. It's the land that I love by Country Cottage Needleworks. And I picked all my own colors. None of it is called for. I just kind of picked whatever I had. For. So nothing's called for. I, like Lindsay, I just picked what we had. So that's how far I am on that. I actually love your colors. They look a little bit deeper. Yeah. This blue, what is this blue? It's Americana, America by Weeks Dye Works. It's one of my favorites. Oh my, I think I love that blue. Yeah, it's America. Let me I'm like, check. oh my. It, yeah, Americana how, by Weeks Dye Works. Look at how rich it is on this cloth. That's country or country mocha 25 so it's, count. Again. it's a really rich, I love, I really love the colors you picked yeah. on that. So she is really good at picking colors. I, I do often ask her when I'm like uh, kidding up new stitches. This is it. Because uh, she's great at picking Lindsay's colors. Lindsay's chart, which is a mess. I really need to organize it. Home of the free. Country. I do everything like Mama Country Mocha 25. <laughs> hey, and that's okay. Uh, if that's your go-to, then. Which is, it is. And I, it's a great choice for sure. And that's been fun. All called for, I think. I don't know. <laughs> and then I already showed you the All American. And I'm doing Lindsay's stamps. I started and I picked my own colors as well. Which one am I? Which doing? I didn't know she was doing this, and she showed me this morning. I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. I'm doing it on the 32. It's count. like, do I want to restitch mine, even though I've fully finished all of mine? <laughs> 32 count white taupe. I'm going to do all of them on this. And I picked uh, I more it. muted colors as well. Like, what is that blue? Can I'll you show tell you me? Our, all the colors. All right, I'll hold it while you tell us the colors. DMC 22. I can hold it. The light one is 932, which I feel like they're kind of close. So, and 931. Oh, yeah. So, those are the colors I just picked from our stash. I actually really love that. And um, uh, stay tuned for projects in this color scheme for next year. Uh -huh. I didn't show you guys this, I don't think. So uh, Christine Sherman. One of my besties. Sent me a bag, a patriotic bag. And it was when I was going through like a really hard time. So I appreciate her so much. It made my day. So this is the patriotic case. case. And it's kind of a mess in there. <laughs> So it fits all my stuff and I love it so much. So thank you so much, Christine, for sending me this. It really brightened my day. <laughs> um, I think she has kits, Christine. I'm not sure if she has any patriotic left, but um, she's been selling kits to make your own. And sometimes she does sells that you can buy the kit themselves. Yeah. Like literally, or I mean, buy the actual case. I have this in there. My mini, what is this called? What is this? Um, like a design I board. I have that. Like everything fits in here. Yeah. And I just. I use mine. I have a Halloween. I have like an everyday one and I have a Christmas one and I use And all. a picker. This is like my friend. I don't know about you guys, but I carry I a picker. I actually don't use mine. I don't pick like, out. Like I'll use it in a pinch. Like if I don't have scissors, I'll just like cut off with this. Oh, <laughs> that's a good idea. Because it's small and like. All right, so yeah. let's see some of the messages. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, there's been a lot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll just start reading. Uh, Kathy, I agree with you as I want to continue with patriotic and summer stitching. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but stitching in the season is way more fulfilling for me. Um, I finished Home of the Brave and a few other stitches and two table toppers of yours. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Uh, Valeria, I am traveling and stitching your beautiful United We Stand. I have done almost all the pillows. I love your patterns. Thank yes. you so much. 
Christy loves your color choices. Everyone I, loves your bag. <laughs> isn't it beautiful? She it is beautiful. And that fabric, this was one of my favorite lines yes. of, of the year for 4th of July. Like, go check her out. I know that it's so limited supplies, but if you can keep an eye on it. And they gave me uh, this little needle minder and, like, a scissor to put on my... That is adorable. So, if you can snag one, all I need now is Halloween. Hint, hint, Christine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I will buy, like, I'm like, I've been keeping my eye open when she releases because I want one for every season. <laughs> okay, so, last night, you know, I'm a last minute person. I did finish, I showed my finished Tiny Town, Patriotic Tiny Town, but I wanted to fully finish it, and I... I wanted to send it to Christy to fully finish, but I really wanted it right away. And I knew if I wanted it right away, I had to do it because I wanted to. Why do I have all this? Oh, it's from the ribbon. Um, I just couldn't wait. It's so, so here's cute. my finish. Um, so this is Patriotic Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. Um, we have some in stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I did most called for colors. I did change out, um, I think, the red for <clears throat> Louisiana hot sauce. The paddle is from Stitch Etc. And it actually came in like a cream color. And I was like, I want, well, first I painted it red and I hated it. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to paint over it white. So I did. So I loved the white because it just, everything pops. I like how it has the red though. Like the Yes. So it. then I distressed it and the red has come through. And then I, these little stars, um, they are from Tim Holtz. You can get them at Joann's. They're usually in the scrapbooking section. Yeah. And then I used ribbons from our ribbon trim pack, Patriotic. It's sold out. I'm so sorry. We'll be talking about that later. Um, I did two, I did a big gingham, the blue star, and then some like twine or jute, and then another star right here. Okay. Like I am in love. It is adorable. You did a great Did job. I burn the crap out of my fingers? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know how anybody does this type of thing without burning their yeah. fingers when gluing like the Rick rack. Just everything. Someone asked how you how you distress the edges of your wood. So funny thing is my mom always has a nail filer. <clears throat> mom, please don't watch this. She had a nail filer in her mug over here. And I'm like, oh, I'm not going to go get sandpaper. I'm just going to go get this nail Which filer. Is, I think are great. Just buy the cheap nail files. Yeah. I just used a nail file and I just filed along the oh, edge. Yes. So first it was red. I painted it white. Mm -hmm. This okay. was the original color. I didn't repaint the back, which. So Stitch Etc. is on Facebook. It's a Facebook page or group. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which one. And you go through their like albums and that's how you order from them. So if you're interested in their uh, wood work. We, we will be having more finishes on their items. Yeah. Um, I sent a ton of stuff to Christy for upcoming projects and you guys, you guys yeah. are going to love it. Everyone so. said you did a great job at it. Like, I just want to sit and stare at it. It's so pretty. And someone asked about the case. So, Christine Sherman, what's their new Instagram? I can't remember. The Rainbow. Winding Rainbows. Winding Rainbows on Instagram. So, yes. check her out on Instagram, and she announces when she's going to list cases. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it, it, she's a one-man show. And these cases are so well made that it takes a lot of time. But if you have gotten one, the workmanship is amazing. It's excellent. Yeah. So, I mean, just be patient and try and snag one when you can. Yeah. Okay. What was I going to show? Someone said they used the silicone finger for your. Oh, my gosh. Um, which we have like silicone. That is a brilliant uh, idea. When we count patterns, we use a thimble that's like textured for work. So you could maybe use that. You need the rubber finger. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We have a bunch. <laughs> I'm like, I'm astonished right now. <laughs> um, okay. So one other thing. I forgot the shoes. 
So I had this vision in my mind on how I was going to finish my flag. I wanted it into a square pin cushion. So last weekend, I was like, I'm going to test my idea. I'm going to test how to do this without um, using too much brain power because I, I wasn't sure. And this is my prototype. <laughs> Here it is. It's a little square cushion. Um, I didn't like stuff it all the way because, you know, I'm not did really going to use Did you make that up this. in your head? Or did you YouTube? Well, it? so <laughs> about seven years, I want to say like seven years ago, Lori Holt put out a tutorial on how to do a pin cushion. And I kind of um, made some adjustments to mine so I didn't have to whip stitch the back. So like, as you can see, there's no raw seams. You probably could not use like the wall crushed walnut shells if you're going to mm. do this method. I'm still perfecting it um, to do on this. Am I scared <laughs> to do it? Yes. That's why it's not done. I, I just, funny. I, I don't know. I can't. It's, it's scary, but I want like the square look, but I also don't know. So I'm going to finish my pillows in different ways, but I don't want them to be all so different that it looks like a crazy mess. So, um, I'm going to stitch out a few of the patterns and I'm going to keep you guys updated on what I do in the future. Okay. Some new cross stitch in the shop. Um, my new obsession is Bent Creek and this is one of the new ones we just brought in. It is called Happy Independence Day. It's called a snapper. And if someone wants to explain to me, are the snappers used for something or is it decorative only? So let me take this out so you guys can see it. I just loved how tiny and cute it is. So it comes with these snappers. Here's the pattern. And you can see That's right here. And right here are the snaps. So please, if you know, do they I do you actually snap out. something? But I love the pattern and I think I, I think it's gonna go in my um, thing for next year. I have to eventually stop stitching patriotic. <laughs> I just don't know. Um, and then heart and hand imprint imprints, eagle and flag. Great flag for our flag bowl, you guys. I am going to stitch this one. Yeah. That's so if you're going to be doing flags for the fourth or flags on the fourth, grab this pattern. And um, that one is going to stitch up really fast. And then we restocked this adorable kit by Bent Creek. You guys literally, like, loved this so much. So the kit um, comes with the 18 count linen and it comes with all of your pearl cotton and buttons and the pattern to make this it is freaking adorable that and i've set one aside for myself um i just haven't had a minute to start another thing but yeah. you can even do the bird separate and put yeah it in your you bowl could do <laughs> the bird separate and put it yeah you totally could like if you just did the stack like the, of birds yeah Oh my gosh, maybe I'll do that. So another option for your bowl or just some patriotic finishing. Yeah. Someone asked where your glasses are from. Um, they're from Zenny Online. Mm -hmm. And um, they're my favorite ones. My husband calls them my Harry Potter glasses. <laughs> but I love them. And they are massive. But I have noticed when I use my smaller ones, it just bothers me. And so... Um, I can see without my glasses, but not close up. It's my vision isn't as good. So this is another kit similar to this. Same idea. They give you all of the pearl cotton, the 18, I believe it's 18 count linen. So that is adorable. Um, I'm not sure how big this finish is, but it could potentially be for your bowl, but it might be too big. I don't know. And then um, Heart and Hand released this one. Here, you can do this oh. one. 
It's called Doodles. It's part of her Doodle series. So she has like an autumn. I'm not sure the other ones she has, but this one's. I actually cute. love her Doodle series. Um, I want to stitch them all. They're fun. Yeah, they're really cute. I just really, um, I've decided I really vibe with her design, like the look of her stuff. Yeah. And also Bent Creek. I don't, I just love their stuff. Um, this one is, I think, an older pattern by Bent Creek. And I'm going to add it to my fall stitching. I might change some of the colors. Um, I just listed these before we got on because I, um, but this is Blackbird Sampler. So I love it, but I might switch out <clears throat> the, it's like a reddish, it's a really dark red. I might switch it out for like Cherry Cobbler. Cherry Cobbler is like my favorite red right now, mm -hmm. but it has an alphabet and then the cute little house and pumpkin and really cute. So about asked if we're hosting a Christmas in July stitch along. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> we're behind. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys only knew how much we're getting in daily, like Christmas yeah. things and fall and Halloween, it's like I can't keep up yeah. with the designing. <laughs> we have a lot but coming out for Expo. We have a lot of designs coming out for Expo. Not like, not as much as we did for Nashville, but a good chunk and we have behind the scenes been working like crazy on these yeah. designs. So um, I did want to mention, we didn't bring it out here. The next nine patch pillows, the the final three are going to be released next month. Do you want me to grab them? If, if you want to, and I'll show him while she's doing that. <clears throat> so my dad came into town and he brought, sorry, <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. We are restocking the 1776 frame next Thursday, 6 a.m. Yeah. on our Etsy. Which, yeah, it's in our newsletter, the details. Mm -hmm. So this is for my Happy Independence Day pattern. Or, I mean, really, if you had something different that would fit in here, you could do anything that's patriotic. Yeah. Um, so these <clears throat> are next week. And then he also brought some... Hive rolls paddles. This will be in the restock. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I have a frog in my throat. Hive rolls. He hand carves the tree and the beehive. And all of this is hand carved. This one um, is staying with us because um, he had a little mishap there. But um, so this is going to be one of ours to keep each of us, each girl in the family is going to get one. Nice. Um, but I don't remember how much, how many he brought, but there's a handful next Thursday, 6 a.m. on our Etsy. And it is pure walnut. Like it's, heavy. it's heavy. Yeah. I mean, it's not like a really thin, it is, he goes and he picks out the lumber that he wants to use. He hand yeah. picks the lumber he hand carves some of the details. So yeah. um, I did help him. He's um, in the process of opening his own little Etsy shop. And so when we have more details on that, we will let you guys the, know. The paddle is the same day. Yes, paddle and the, the 1776 the same day next Thursday, 6 a.m. Sweet. Okay, so oh. the nine patch. So these are the last three in the series. Um, and it's funny, I actually started, when I had this idea, my first design was this one. And the design was based off of a quilt, uh, a mystery quilt along we did last year. And I thought this would be adorable in a cross stitch. And that's how the um, this project came to be. So here is, well, this is October. So I designed November 1st, but October, November, and December. So in July, those are going to be released. So 
you should have plenty of time to get all of your nine patches done in time for the month that you need it for. Yeah. Um, is that it for cross stitching, Emily? I think so. I think it is. Okay. So what I'm going to work um, on in the coming weeks, I am going to try and put some of my 4th of July stitches down and I'm going to start doing some more, some autumn stitching. So you'll be seeing more autumn um, in the coming weeks. Okay. So for quilting, um, if you get our newsletter, we are doing a huge fabric sale, 40% off quilting cottons. And um, so we didn't have anything brand new to share because we're doing such a big sale. But I brought some of my older projects that I wanted to share with you that are my own little designs that I've never released. But, um, okay. Oh, Debbie, thank you for the super chat. Aw, thanks, Debbie. Appreciate it. Okay, so, um, gosh, probably five to seven years ago, I was really into uh, English paper piecing. And I started doing a ton of red. Again, patriotic. Like, I must just love this color palette. It just, like, yeah. really... Uh, I just love it. Okay. So I started doing English paper piecing. So I did, I hand stitched all of my hexes together. And then I added this small blue border. Um, and then I did a very simple quilting design and then I binded it. Um, I have this sitting on my counter right now with a little display. And every time I look at it, I'm like, I really want to get back into English paper piecing. Um, I think it's time. I'm like, it's come back around, I feel like. And I just, I love this project. The other one. Which I need to like find this fabric. It's this is so fabric from years ago. I don't even know what the brand is or anything. This is another English paper piecing project. I designed um, this like star and then I did the red and white stripes, so but I did them like florals. And it's just this long little table. Uh, well, actually, I used it as a wall hanging in my house at one point. So um, I really think I want to do some designing with English paper piecing. Um, it's kind of like cross stitch. You can take it anywhere. You it's it's very therapeutic. My mom has this massive project that she's working on, that she has worked on in the past. I should have her bring it next time. And by the way, mom, as it's you gone. can see, is gone again. She's at Disneyland again. <laughs> <sighs> she's never here. Just kidding. We saw it at the same time. <laughs> okay. I have had so many messages about this because we sold out. There's a handful listed right now, but we are releasing more. Um, I just actually was on the phone with um, Moda a couple days. Maybe it was yesterday because I just needed the binding. And we uh -oh. are substituting this blue with a different blue from the same line. But it's basically going to be the same thing. So we're going to restock this um, probably next week. It's one of my favorite projects we've done for the 4th of July. Yeah, it's really just so cute. rich. Um, so those are my quilting. Are we good? Do you yeah, you were going to show those. Are you still show? Oh, yeah. Free Pattern Friday. Oh, I never found this sample of this. Okay, Free Pattern Friday kits. Still um, some available. We still have some available. It's hard to see because it's all bagged up, but the line is Renew from Sweetwater. The pattern is the second week of July. So you will get the free pattern as long as you're subscribed to the newsletter. Um, the kit is on in our Etsy shop. So if you buy it now, you'll be ready to start sewing when we release the pattern. Sure. Um, and then if you're still wanting to um, do patriotic for uh, this year, we have a ton of these Liberty mini quilt kits. And 
Um, I cannot find our. We can't find the sample. The sample anywhere. I don't. I I literally don't know what I did, but it's their hearts with. Uh, it's like a heart flag. Really cute, and it's pretty inexpensive. And then of course the F is for flag. Um, we're gonna have. We still have tons of these because I just love them so much. And and when mom cut them out, she just kept cutting and cutting. Yeah. And cutting. She did a little bit overboard, but it's okay. Like she was just in, in like her flow of like just cutting and she, <laughs> and then lastly, I want to share some really exciting wines that you're going to see projects in the future. So like I said, we are getting a lot of, fabric. a lot of fabric. We are getting so much fabric right now. And of course, one of my favorite fabric designers, Tasha Noel, so she cute. is doing Pixie Noel. It's um, it's a little different from her first one, but her illustrations they just make my heart happy. Honestly, yes, I have I hoarded this fabric. Um, I do have a quilt made out of it, and I will be making. I will be putting aside probably a fat. I hope I ordered fat quarter I bundles. Don't I didn't see any, so you better order some. <sighs> okay. Because I'm going to want one. <laughs> to put in my stash because... Um, it's I just, called our retirement stash. Lindsay yeah. has about three, four bins. That's a lie. Probably five. <laughs> I only... I narrowed mine down quite a bit, so... She did. And you can look online. We listed we a We listed a ton of, of bundles. Stash. So go check out all the bundles because we got rid of a lot. Um, There could be, like... Hang on. Lines that... That, that are two years ago that aren't around. Okay. So, yeah, go check that out. Um, I am loving Art Gallery's uh, seasonal lines this year. This is from Sweet and Spookier. So, they've done two previous lines in yeah. this same kind of... They're all like sisters, too. Yeah. You know, they That's all it. work together. And this potion... That's so cute. The pinks and the... I only like purple when it comes to Halloween. <laughs> I just love it. And if you've ever um, purchased Art Gallery, um, their cotton is a higher thread count. And it is so silky smooth. Yeah. I just love it so much. I love... I have... That's my star bound I'm making is from the first two lines. Okay, and then this one I absolutely love is called Christmas in the City. Retro so pink trees. The Santa, and look at this. That's like a little cat portrait. Uh -huh. um, we bought, I think I bought almost the whole line. Yeah. So we just got this one in. It is adorable. It's um, cute for pink. I don't really like pink and Christmas. Oh, I love it, pink but and it's Christmas. Cute. <laughs> um, it's so fun. It's so retro. Like the colors are just have a retro feel. And um, I don't know who designed it. Let me check. I don't think it says. I don't I know don't. who designed it, but it is art gallery. And so coming soon in the shop. The bundle. Yeah. Oh, we and got then, the, we have a project coming with this line. Yes. So, um, Camille, Bimble Blossoms. So she's now designing um, solo, and I think this is her first line that she's done solo, yeah. and it's very um, serene. It's the blues and the greens. Um, we are doing a project with this line. Um, so stay tuned. But a lot of the prints are small and they, yeah. it just, when I look at it, it's just very serene. This would be wonderful, this fabric for like your master bedroom quilt. Yeah. Um, all right. And I think that's any it. questions, comments. We had our giveaways. Oh, and we have giveaways. So let's do that really quick. The winners of. We did two of these. Okay, go ahead. Um, so you get the this B needle. This was last there. week. So we're we chose the winners for this. We had two of these to give away. So Veda, Tobias, and Joan Sergi. So 
Um, email. I put our email in the description. So you'll have to email us your address. And what you won. So for this week's giveaway, we have a cross-stitch giveaway and a quilting giveaway. So for cross-stitch, we have this, this uh, vinyl bag with this little Bent Creek um, keychain. And then the Pop of Spring zipper kit. So this is a full kit with the little project bag. So that's the first giveaway. And then the second giveaway. It's a is, panel. It's a panel um, by Sandy Gervais, I believe. I'm not sure. Yes, <laughs> Sandy Gervais. So this is like a little notebook with her designs. And then there's a panel in here that I think it's. It I looks think like it's it, that. Is it the whole thing? I don't know. We bagged it we already. We bagged it already. <laughs> But it's the so. panel that goes to this, and it's adorable. Um, to enter, you just need to leave a comment below. After we post. Not, not on the, not the, live. the live, but the video's comment. Um, leave a comment. Let us know if you're going to be stitching the flags with me. Um, I'd love to hear if you have a specific uh, flag you've already picked out from a different designer. Because... Yeah. Right now, I probably have like 20 I want to do. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let us know, but be sure to do it in um, the comments after the video is posted. So, yeah, the last line someone asked, it's a thimble blossom. Is that what it's called? Yeah, and it's Nantucket Summer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but Thimble Blossoms is her pattern company. Oh, okay. Camille Roskelly. Yeah, like, subscribe, turn the bell awesome. on if you don't want to miss our lives. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, we are the newsletter. Just I wanted to mention this again. The newsletter for tomorrow, the quilting. Um, it's just we're we're having the forty percent off quilting cotton. So be sure yeah. to head to the Etsy shop. Um, it's while supplies last, and it cannot be applied to previous orders. Um, we're just trying to make space for all the new fabric we're getting. So um, yeah. head on over to the shop and pick out some yardage that you need. Great sell for backings if you need quilt backings. Um, yeah. And I think we're going to get back to work. But um, yeah. yeah have else? a happy fourth. Again. Yes. We'll see you a guys next week. Yeah. We hope you have a safe fourth of July. And we're headed to uh, Katie's for the pool. For the pool. <laughs> so we'll talk to you guys okay. next week. Bye. Bye.